In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to create this super easy and fun holiday card. If you want to learn how, keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second video in the holiday card series. We're gonna jump right into this one. As always, I've taken a sheet of watercolor paper, cut it in half, and then folded that in half to get my card shape. And then I'm just taping that down onto a flat board to make it a little easier to paint. I'm mixing up a little bit of green. I'm gonna do a couple different shades of green. All of the supplies, as always, will be listed below. And with a number six round brush, I'm just gonna start by choosing a corner to start the directional flow of my leaves. So to create a leaf, all you're really gonna do is press down using the belly of the brush, and then as you slide the brush outwards, you're gonna gently lift it up to form a little tip. I'll be doing a couple different variations of leaves. You just saw me do one that has two swipes instead of one. So definitely experiment as you go. I'm also going to be using a mix of colors. So I started off with a green and then I added a little bit of indigo to that because I really want the contrast between the green and the indigo to show. So when you're doing this, just think about the direction of the leaves. In this case, they're all gonna go around counterclockwise around the card. You're pretty much just gonna wanna try to fill in any spaces with leaves. You can do little sprigs, different shaped leaves, whatever you like, as long as you're keeping in mind to fill in some of that white space and try to keep the composition balanced as you go counterclockwise around the page. You'll see that I pause quite a bit as I'm doing this. Um, even though it is sped up, you'll see me kind of pause and think about where I want the next section of leaves to go or if it needs a single leaf placed somewhere. So I'm just constantly thinking about where the next brush stroke is gonna go. And then you can join some of the leaves together with little stems as you see me do here. I kind of map it out sometimes um, depending on where I want the next little section to go. So you're just gonna keep on doing this the entire way through. Try to curve some of the leaves around the corners. It will just add to that whole, um, I guess it's kind of like a wreath effect. It's not a circle, but it has those rounded corners. So it kind of allows it to flow a little bit better. And turning your board as you go definitely helps too. I find that the less you think about this, the better it turns out. Sometimes all you need is a single stroke from your brush without even much thought, and it can create a really fun little leaf. Now I'm just gonna start going back over the initial section that should be pretty dry by now. I'm gonna use the indigo color and I'm just going to overlap some of the existing leaves. This will just make it more full and add a little bit of dimension. When you do this, you can also go over any leaves that you didn't really like the look of. You can fix them a little bit. You can go in and add a couple more little sprigs and leaves to additional white spaces. So just keep going around and filling it up as you go. I started adding in these little sort of brown branch sprig thingies and I honestly kind of wish I didn't do it. I don't really like how they look, but again, it's just a experimentation process. If you like that look, go for it. Then I'm just gonna take a bright red color here when my leaves are dry and I'm just gonna start placing little berries wherever I think the composition needs one. You can add them in singles, you can add a couple beside each other in a little bunch. 
again, however you want to do this. Um, I just really think that the red adds such a Christmassy pop of color to the whole thing. Now we're going to start on the message. I've gently sketched out the word joy in pencil crayon. I wasn't too sure what to write. If you guys have any other suggestions for um, your own cards or any of the other viewers cards, definitely leave them below. Give us some ideas. But for me, I just chose joy. It was nice and short and I sketched it out first and then I'm tracing over that sketch with a micron number five permanent ink pen. So when your lettering is done, you can erase any pencil lines that you've made and then it's time to remove the tape. So this is the final card. I really like how it looks with the border around it too. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys liked this one. If you did, please give it a big, blah, blah, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And stay tuned for the next one because I do have more coming. So I'll see you next time.